اور ایوان اقبال کے فرق کا خیال رکھے ماشاء جی اجازت بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہز ایمیننس سعیدی شاہ الاسلام ڈاکٹر محمد طاہر القادری آنرابل گیسٹ اینڈ ریسپیکٹیڈ ممبرز آف دی آڈینس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ و برکاتہ It is with the blessings of Allah Almighty and through the wasila of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam that we are here at the inauguration ceremony of this truly magnificent and remarkable inauguration of the Quranic Encyclopedia by Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam. Allah Almighty Himself introduces the Holy Quran in a beautiful way in Surah Nahl. Allah Ta'ala states, and we have revealed to you that glorious book, which is a clear exposition of everything and is guidance, mercy, and glad tidings for the believers. Here, Allah Ta'ala states, that the Quran contains detailed knowledge of every single thing in the universe. This is the book which is the sole source of final, definitive, and conclusive guidance, which leads humankind towards perfect success in this life or in the hereafter, inshallah. This is the book which is a fountain of mercy. This is the book which is a fountain of compassion. And this is the book which is a, fountain, which is a fountain, fountain of care for all those who practice this guidance in their lives. The Quran is a book of Hidayah whose ilm is everlasting, continuous, and com comprehends every aspect of human life. But crucially, the Quran is not stagnant. Indeed, it is almost like an organic living form of life that has been providing guidance to generations over centuries. So if the Quran is such a glorious book, if the Quran contains so much hidayah, so much ilm, the question arises, what is so significant about this Quranic encyclopedia? Why do we need this Quranic encyclopedia? Why has this compendium been created? What are the reasons? My brothers and sisters, Quranic guidance comes in two forms, two manifestations, explicit and implicit. Implicit Quranic guidance comes in the literal form of the words of the Quran. That is explicit. An implicit guidance comes in the form of the Sunnah and Quranic guidance. My brothers and sisters, in the previous centuries, the great classical scholars and authorities of Islam derived their guidance from both these two sources, the Quran and the Sunnah. 
They maintained a balance of continuous, comprehensive, expansive, creative, and progressive knowledge. In reality, they made the Quranic knowledge, the Quranic ilm, easily accessible to the masses. Thus, the people living during their time felt that the Quran spoke directly to them, that the Quran solved their problems. If they had an issue, they turned to the Quran and then to the Sunnah, because this is how the classical authorities, the great scholars of the past, were able to deliver the knowledge of Islam. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the last few centuries, this connectivity of Quranic knowledge with human life and its newly emerging problems has disappeared. As human society has become more and more complex, this Quranic knowledge has not been easily relatable to the masses, to the general population. Particularly, my brothers and sisters, to the younger generations. When they have a problem, when they have a need, when they have a desire, when they seek knowledge, ilm, they do not turn to the Quran first. They, not, do, they do not turn to the ilm that is contained in the Quran. That is not their first port of call because they find it difficult to understand it, to access it. That is why, my brothers and sisters, our Islamic knowledge has begun to weaken. Our Islamic knowledge is not enough to protect the new and future generation. My brothers and sisters, we, all of us, have failed, have failed to explicate the Quranic knowledge and present it to the masses. And my brothers and sisters, this is a tragedy for all of us. That is why the Muslim Ummah were in a dire need that Allah Almighty may bless us with a mujaddid, that Allah Ta'ala bless us with that kind of authority who can reconnect the Quran amongst the masses. Someone who could make someone who could make the Quran easily accessible, no matter what your knowledge level, no matter how much you have studied, whether you have a PhD or whether you are simple metric pass, it doesn't matter. What we needed was easy accessibility to the Quran and ilm and hidayah sent by Allah Almighty. So who was it? Who was there to take up this challenge, to take up this gauntlet, to take up this monumental task? Who could it be? The only person in this world with the education, with the knowledge, with the ilm, with the capacity, the only person that Allah Ta'ala blessed in this world who could take up this task was Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam, Dr. Muhammad Fahri al-Qadri. <laughs> Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam, by creating this connectivity, this link of the Quran with the younger generation, with the Quran, with the future generation, the Quran for everybody, Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam has become a beacon of light. We have become engulfed in darkness. We have become engulfed in darkness. And this Quranic encyclopedia is just one 
of many beacons of light that Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam, by the will of Allah, has gifted upon us. When you open the Quranic encyclopedia, be it international law or politics, trade or economics, sociology or psychology, personal family law, marriage, divorce, inheritance rights. It could be science, cosmology. The subject matter doesn't matter. Indeed, if you just want to know about the wonders of the earth, how Allah Ta'ala has made the beautiful oceans, how the moon rises, even my brothers and sisters, when you are feeling sad, when you are feeling lonely, when you are feeling frustrated, when you are feeling down, you can pick up the Quranic encyclopedia, look at the chapter, and Allah Ta'ala, through the Quran, will bless you and guide you with his ilm and hikmah. My brothers and sisters, many have yet to speak. We are living in an age where we have this authority, this shaksiyad, this person amongst us. My sheikh, my murabbi, on behalf of all of the sisters present here today, I salute you for women's empowerment. I salute you for the work that you have done for the masses, for the youngsters, for the elders, and most importantly, for the Muslim Ummah. Allah Ta'ala has given us one of the greatest blessings in the form of Sayyidi Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad Dr. Tahir al-Qadri. May Allah Ta'ala give you a long and successful life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. تشریف لاتے ہیں